Do you want to know how to show and hide your Ecamm Live Utility Windows with Stream Deck, or do you want to know all about Keyboard Maestro subroutines? Well, if so, you're in the right place. I'm going to tell you about both of them in this video. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec, and in this video, I'm continuing with my little series where I talk about how I'm using Stream Deck and Keyboard Maestro to basically improve improve my video production workflow with Ecamm Live and uh, how it gives me a little bit of extra integration that isn't uh, currently available with the Ecamm Live Stream Deck plugin. Although Ecamm Live has the best Stream Deck plugin with the most uh, actions uh, programmed for any any known application that I've come across, certainly. Um, but that said, there is still ways that you can improve upon this and add an extra little bit of productivity and functionality. Uh, but specifically today, as I mentioned in the, at the, in the little intro just a few moments ago, uh, I'm going to be talking about subroutines in Keyboard Maestro and basically how you can nest macros within one another. So uh, creating one as like a little loop that you might want to run, uh, but then include that in other macros. So uh, the point of this is to uh, show this use case for Ecamm Live. But if you're not an Ecamm Live user, uh, don't worry, there is something for you here in any case, because this is all about Keyboard Maestro 2. <laughs> so let me first of all uh, explain what I'm uh, talking about and the problem that I'm trying to solve. Um, so if I come into my uh, uh, demo mode and show you my full screen, you don't need to worry about being able to read anything on the screen. All I'm doing is showing you my screen layout. Uh, and when I'm making a video, this is typically how my screen may look. Um, I've basically got all of my Ecamm Live stuff over on that side, <laughs> this side where I am. <laughs> uh, and so this includes my Ecamm Live uh, window. Uh, and then it also includes my uh, scenes, the camera effects, sound, audio, things like that, uh, the overlays panel. Uh, and so that's all nicely tucked over here. Uh, and then I may have on the screen other things over on uh, which side? That side and down at the bottom or down beneath, beneath me of things that I'm demonstrating as part of my uh, tutorials that I'm recording. So that is my sort of typical layout. And uh, when I'm talking about Ecamm Live utility windows, uh, I'm talking about these ones here. So I'm talking about all these panels that I've got around me with my scenes, camera effects, and, and, and so on. Those are what I mean by utility windows. When I'm live streaming, however, uh, there are a whole other set of utility windows that I want to have up, uh, and those would include things like this. So now over at the top here, I've uh, got my comments and reactions. I've got the interview uh, mode panel. Uh, I've also got the interview chat, uh, and then I've also got bandwidth statistics down here as well. So you can see that there's some different layouts of these windows that I've got, and I want to be able to activate those windows for live streaming. Uh, but then when I'm just recording, I don't want to see those, and I just want these uh, other windows. Now, the reason why we're going to get into nesting of macros is because I also use Ecamm Live for a number of different use cases. I make these videos for my channel, uh, but then I also use Ecamm Live for other work-related things, maybe with completely different profiles, completely different setups. Uh, and I want to be able to basically get ready to record or go live or whatever it happens to be with the touch of a button for each of those. And so uh, I don't want to have to reinvent the wheel, as it were, each time and create a whole set of macros that's going to set absolutely everything up and duplicate this multiple times if I can just have one macro that is going to set up my windows uh, and then another one that's going to activate my profile that I want for that particular recording case uh, and so on and so forth. So that is where I'm talking about nesting macros. If I've lost you don't worry hopefully this should all become clear because we're going to go through this all step by step. So First of all, let's have a little look, shall we, at what windows there are available uh, in Ecamm Live in the utility uh, windows <laughs> bracket or whatever you want to call it. I just completely lost my train of thought there. The uh, utility windows uh, list. Let's come back to that. <laughs> so in Ecamm Live, you've got a uh, window menu up here. And... Um, this is where you've got a list of all the different uh, utility windows. So this is what I mean by utility windows. In Ecamm Live, you can toggle these on and off using these buttons over here. So you've got these buttons for, uh, this one is for the overlays panel. So you can see I can toggle that on and off. I can toggle the audio uh, volume sliders. Uh, then we've got the camera effects and things like that. So I can just toggle these on and off by clicking the buttons. So that's, uh, that's great. So let me turn off the camera effects one. I can also come into the window menu at the top. 
And then I can come down here and toggle the camera effects one on here. I say toggle, it's not really a toggle. I can just make it show. I can't actually hide it now. So if I go back into the window and click on camera effects, it does nothing because it's already showing. So one thing I was hoping was that I would be able to just go and uh, use that as a toggle. And then I could just assign a keyboard maestro shortcut to it um, to basically go and activate that menu command, which is the common way that we activate menu commands for applications that are running in the background. This will all become clear in a moment as well. Uh, but unfortunately, we can't do that because it isn't actually a toggle. It's only a toggle in the, uh, the, the button on the screen itself. However, they do have another function in window, which is uh, this one down here, to hide all utility windows. So we can hide all utility windows, uh, and then I could go through and uh, activate them one by one as I, uh, as I wanted them. So uh, that's basically the approach that I'm going to take. If this is still not making sense, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> it will all start to fall into place as we go through it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my uh, keyboard maestro editor and I'll just get myself into a nice plain uh, group so that it doesn't get confusing. So here we are in uh, keyboard maestro and I've got my Ecamm setup demo group. So it's completely empty. There's no macros in there at the moment and we're just going to build this out. I have done a video all about uh, an introduction to Keyboard Maestro. I'll leave a link to that directly above. Um, and that just basically walks through the sort of interface and the, uh, uh, the idea of how Keyboard Maestro works. But I'm going to assume a little bit of knowledge here and then uh, not go over all of that again. Uh, but we're going to start with a, uh, a new macro. And I'm going to call this one. Uh, so let me uh, just think about this. <laughs> What we're going to do here and explain what we're going to do is I'm going to create a macro that basically sets all of those windows up ready for when I'm recording. And then I'm going to have a second macro, which is basically for when I'm live streaming that opens up those additional panels that I want for when I'm live streaming. So those are the first two steps and those are the first two macros that I'm going to create. After that, I'm then going to create a second, uh, a third macro rather, that basically calls in those two uh, little macros and then adds on anything else that we need relevant to that particular setup. So uh, that's just to give you some heads up, but let's uh, go through this one step at a time. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, call this one. Uh, this one is basically going to be for the windows that I have all the time. So uh, I think of this as kind of like my base window configuration, if you like. <laughs> so I'm going to call this base windows. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to do another one similar, which will just be live streaming windows. So basically, I want these ones to appear all the time or use these ones all the time. Uh, but then the uh, live streaming ones are just going to be the add on windows that I have only when I'm live streaming. The way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to use a function which I've used quite often in my videos, uh, which is basically to be able to activate a menu command in using Keyboard Maestro, activating a window command in another application while it's in the background. And the way that we do this is if I come here uh, and I type in, uh, there we go, <laughs> I've used it that often, it's the last one that I searched for in fact. So search for menu and it's this one, show or select a menu item. I'm gonna add that one in there. Um, now what I need to do is, let me just move this down a little bit so that uh, it makes it easier to see. There we go, I'll move it down here. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through and activate a specific menu command. So you can select the application here, but we can just do it directly using this, uh, this key here, which allows us to navigate through the menus of all of your open applications. Uh, in fact, let me just move this over a little bit. Uh, so if I click on here, you should see that we've got Ecamm Live Beta is open. Uh, and then this now is all of the menus in the menu bar of Ecamm Live. So I'm going to go down to the window. If you remember, that's where all the menus were, uh, all the windows were. Um, and then in here, we've now got a list, which is basically everything that is in that menu from the Ecamm Live uh, window menu in the menu bar. And uh, basically, it, we were starting from uh, here, bandwidth statistics. That's the first of the windows that you can activate. These are other window related commands. Uh, and so basically I can go down and look at all of the ones that I want to include in this sort of base configuration. So bandwidth statistics, I don't want. That's something that I only want for live streaming. Uh, but the camera effects one, yes, I do want that. Uh, and then let me just duplicate this uh, because that's the easiest way. And so I can duplicate that. And now let me go down and instead of uh, 
camera effects. The next one that I'd want is uh, comments and reactions. That's only a live streaming one. Uh, interview mode, I don't want that. Interview chat, that's for live streaming as well. Um, main window, that is the uh, main window that you've got up. Well, that one is just open by default. Uh, camera, uh, network cameras, uh, that is not something that I use. If you do use network cameras, you may want to show that panel. Uh, overlays, definitely, I want that one as well. So uh, that's basically what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to go in now and add in all of the other ones. I'm going to press the handy pause button on Ecamm Live and save you having to watch me do that over and over again. Okay, so here you can see that I've now done that. So I want the camera effects window, I want the overlays window, the scenes window, the sound effects and the sound levels. So uh, just coming back to my... Uh, demo mode. Uh, these are basically all the panels that I have shown up here. These are the uh, the five panels that I want to have shown at all times when I'm doing my recording uh, or uh, live streaming as well. So now we've got those set up in uh, Keyboard Maestro. Um, there's one little bit missing though from here and that is that action that I mentioned at the beginning uh, which is to basically hide all of the windows because if I just press this now um, it's only going to try and toggle them all on. So in fact let me just give you a quick demo of what I mean. If I were to close down all of these windows like this, I'll do it the hard way by clicking in the little button. Uh, and then if I go to run this macro just to show that it's working, so uh, sorry for the small size, but my mouse is down here. I'm just going to run that macro that I've just built. And what you'll see is uh, there you go, it's just popped open all of those different windows. Uh, but if I press it again, it does nothing because the windows are already open. So it's not got that step to um, uh, basically close them down if I was to have added in some other windows, uh, such as uh, this one. Uh, let's say I'd got the chat in. Uh, how about if I wanted to uh, get rid of the chat and just only show my core windows? Well, if I run that again, it still doesn't do anything to these ones. So what I want to be able to do in order to uh, bear in mind that what I'm trying to achieve is here's my live streaming setup and then I want to get back to my regular recording setup. Here's my live streaming setup back to regular again. So the way that I'm doing that is in this sort of base uh, configuration that we've got here, I'm also activating that command, which was hide all uh, utility windows. So that is just one more that I've got to add in here. So I'm going to duplicate this. And so here, instead of uh, this being the camera effects window, the very first action I want to do is actually in the window. Uh, then what I want to do is uh, this one, hide all utility windows. So now when I press this, uh, in fact, if I just come into, uh, I think, in fact, let me just put a pause in here for a moment, uh, just so that it does show you what exactly what's going on. Uh, because it may be a little bit easier for you to see. So if I add in a pause, and I'll just make that half a second, uh, what I'll do is I'll actually put a pause in between a few of those. You don't need the pause. I'm just doing this so that you can actually see what is uh, going on, just in case it wasn't totally clear. Uh, so there we go. We've got a few different pauses. So now if I come into my uh, demo mode again, and then what I'll do is I'll run this macro, you'll see that it's slowly populating all of those different windows. And so if I press it again, it hides everything and then slowly populates all of those windows. So uh, that is uh, great if you are then in the live streaming mode and I want to just get back to my regular, it's closing everything down and then opening just the ones for recording. Uh, I think that that should be clear now. <laughs> but uh, let me know if it isn't. So um, what we need to do now is do the same for the uh, the live streaming. I'm going to leave those uh, delays just in just so that it does really emphasize it when I come to create the one for the live streaming. Uh, and so what we could do here is I could actually um, duplicate this one, but I will just start afresh again. So I'm going to create a new macro and then I'm going to call this one uh, live stream windows. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing here, which is I'm going to look for the menu command, uh, show, and I've mentioned this before, but worth mentioning again, when you are searching for commands in uh, Keyboard Maestro, just make sure that you do actually have the all actions category selected so that you are searching within all actions rather than just one of the little subsets. So we're going to add that in there and then in here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through now and add in all of those different commands that we're going to want for our live streaming. So for example, uh, key, uh, Ecamm Live Beta into the window menu and then bandwidth statistics was one that I do want to show. So I'm just going to go and do all those for you as well. So there we are. We've now got the bandwidth statistics, the comments and reactions, the interview 
window and then also the interview chat window as well. Um, so just to uh, show you what's going on there, if I then run this macro, uh, you'll see that it does open up those additional windows and put those on the screen. Um, if I run the other one again, so where was it? Here. Uh, the base windows, if I run that again, then it does close everything down and just open up all of those others again with that delay. Uh, I'm just going to take that delay out now because uh, I think it's proved its point, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, so there we go. I'll just uh, try that again. Come to the live streaming. There we go. That's that one. And then back to the base one again. And it's basically closed all of those down. So hopefully that is clear. But now what I want to talk about is basically how we can then use these as subroutines because that is something that I talked about before. So what do I mean by that? Well, basically what you can do in uh, Keyboard Maestro, now that we've got these two macros, so I've got this one to just open up my base windows and this one to open up my uh, live streaming windows. Uh, well, how about if we want to um, then create a separate macro, which is say setting up for my Take One Tech videos, and then maybe I have a, another one setting up for some of my other uh, business related videos and things like that. Um, well, we can do that using uh, creating a macro for each one um, that then pulls in these different setups. So let me show you how to do that. And let me just move this to a screen where you can see it a little bit better over here. <laughs> Hopefully that's a bit bigger. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a, um, uh, a new macro. And what I want to do here is I want to say, right, well, this is my one for recording my uh, Take One Tech videos. So uh, Take One Tech videos. Um, so in here, what I want to do is um, there are a whole load of other actions I could add in here. I'm just going to go with some uh, some basic ones and I'll allow your imagination to fill in the rest and I'll give you a few clues along the way. <laughs> but here I'm going to create a new action. The first thing that I'm going to want to do is um, open Ecamm Live if it's not already open. So I'm going to come up to here and I'm going to go to activate. Uh, that is the way that we uh, activate a specific application. If it's already open, then it will just bring it to the front and make it the active application. If it's not already open, it will open it. So activate a specific application. Um, then what I'm going to do is I want to uh, change to my profile. So I want to make sure that I am in the correct profile for uh, Ecamm Live. And fortunately, we can use exactly the same uh, command that we've just been using because in Ecamm Live you do have all of your profiles uh, do just appear in the profiles menu. So if I just uh, come over here for a second and I'll zoom in and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, in demo mode here you can see in Ecamm Live if I come up to profile you can see that all of your profiles do just appear as um, menu items. So what that means is that you can actually trigger your different profiles with your uh, keyboard maestro as well by activating the menu command. So in this case as you can see I'm in my TOT take one tech profile um, but if I had been previously recording something else I'd want to make sure I changed into that profile or turned into that profile switch to that profile I'm not turning into anything <laughs> except a gibbering wreck sometimes uh, so let's come out of here for a moment uh, so what I want to do is uh, come here I'm going to search for a menu command uh, we're going to do this exactly the same as we just did. So I'm going to go into uh, menu here. Hopefully you can see this. Let me move my stream deck from behind it so it doesn't confuse you. Here we go. Ecamm Live Beta. Then if I come into the profile menu, you can see here all of my profiles. And just off the bottom of the screen, typical, it is my TOT profile. So that's basically going to now, um, what's it, Daisy? I've just realized I didn't activate the application. So step back, Alec. <laughs> When I did activate an application, one thing I forgot to do was actually tell Keyboard Maestro which application we wanted to activate. Well, we do want to activate Ecamm Live Beta. So that is the first important step. Make sure you get your applications right. <laughs> uh, but once it's opened that, then it is going to activate my Take One Tech profile. And because I'm recording, maybe the last thing I've been doing is a live stream for another uh, either my Take One Tech or for uh, another uh, profile, another work related thing. So what I want to do is just make sure that this is for recording. So I do just want to uh, basically set up my windows as we've just done for my uh, base window configuration. And the way that we can do that then, and this is the little subroutine part I was referring to earlier. If I click on new action and I come in here and type in macro, uh, then what we can do is we can either activate a macro group or we can run a specific macro. So if you have got a group of macros, you can do a whole load of different things all at one time. Uh, but the one that we want is down here, uh, execute a macro. 
So I'm going to click on that one and then I'll come down here. Uh, and if I just select the macro, it will have them in here. So this is Ecamm setup demo uh, is just off the screen. Let me just get that so that you can see it again. You can see it's basically listing all uh, macros uh, and it's still off the bottom of the screen. But basically, if you go into any of these, uh, then you can see all of the different uh, things within them. So if I go to Ecamm Setup Demo and click on Base Windows, uh, then that's basically going to set up those windows as I want them. So if I was to execute this macro and Ecamm Live wasn't running, then what it would do is it would open Ecamm Live in whatever state it was last open in. It would switch to my TOT profile take one tech profile if it wasn't already open uh, and then it would make sure that my windows were set up ready for recording uh, so how about if i was going to uh, do this for my e take one tech live streams well we can just duplicate this because uh, basically i want to do the same things so when i come uh, down in my saturday morning when i do my live stream uh, i want to just be able to press a button and it sets everything up for me uh, so here what i'm going to do is basically exactly the same thing uh, but all i want to do is just add on the uh, the extra few windows that we've got for my live stream so if i click on here then i can come down to my ecamm live uh, setup demo group and then I'm going to activate my live stream window. So now basically what it's doing is making sure I'm in my Take One Tech profile. If I'm not already, it's uh, making sure the base windows are all open. And then it's making sure that the live stream windows are all open too. So that is my little setup routine for those two things. But actually my setup routine is a bit, little bit longer than that. Uh, because what I'm also doing is I'm also opening anything else that I have open for those things. So for example, uh, for my live streams, I also have open, uh, usually at the beginning of my live stream, I do a quick update on my channel. So I tend to have my YouTube open uh, so that I can show my YouTube analytics and all of that sort of stuff. So we can add that into this routine. Uh, then I also generally have a uh, Safari window open so that if I'm going to be talking about anything or anything comes up on the live stream, then I can show that. So all of these things can just be added into here, new actions of different windows you want to open, different applications you want to open, and you can build these out as you uh, want. Uh, with my videos, I'm sometimes doing Stream Deck videos, I'm sometimes doing Keyboard Maestro videos, I'm sometimes doing videos about something completely different. Uh, so you can just then tweak this, and for my recorded videos one, for example, I've got many different setups that I use, uh, and so I press the button depending on what it is I'm gonna be talking about, and it opens all of those relevant applications uh, and make sure that they're all in the right place. How do I make sure they're in the right place? I use a little application called Moom. You can do window placement in Keyboard Maestro, by the way, uh, and I will do a video all about that as well. Um, but personally, I find having started using Moom for window management, I'll leave a link to my video <laughs> just up above that I did all about Moom. Uh, I find that that's just a lot easier um, to set those positions of where the windows are uh, and basically remember uh, like new layouts so if I ever sort of change things on the fly and decide oh maybe this is better for my workflow now uh, then Moom allows me to update my window snapshots and basically save window positions of not just the Ecamm windows but any other utility windows or Safari windows or things like that so definitely check out Moom for the window management aspect of these things uh, and as I say link is uh, in the description for that as well so I hope that you have found that useful and if you did then please don't forget as always go ahead like and subscribe to the channel uh, share it with some friends who need a little bit of extra Ecamm productivity in their life or keyboard maestro in their life for that matter uh, and as always there's always my buy me a coffee link if you want to go and support the channel on a one-off or ongoing basis as well. Uh, the series will continue. I shall be doing some more videos about how I'm using Keyboard Maestro with Stream Deck to control Ecamm. So those are, are coming up shortly. Uh, but in the meantime, don't go anywhere because there are, of course, as always, some more great videos coming up right now. <laughs> I'll leave a link to one of my playlists and YouTube will choose a video just for you up in the top there as well. So until the next time, have a great day.